Zaragon here. I have assimilated more than 17,000 albums from around the world in my 35 years as a music connoisseur. To explore this journey in depth, see the Trimax Music Database on RYM and the Directory of American Bands on Jazz Rock Soul, both linked in the description below. While you're at it, hit the like and subscribe buttons and the bell and share this video. Today, a new format. We're going to examine three tracks by three different artists. Um, and the theme today is Jazz Funk 1975. And the first up is Ahmad Jamal with his track Genetic Walk.
Okay, and we had a very tight track there that went through several different layers and passages, starting with that symphonic, wordless vocal section, and which it concluded on as well, and then going through those crisp, you know, diamondy piano runs of the man himself, Ahmad Jamal, and then through a tight funk, you know, uh, monochordal uh, groove in F with uh, the very strong bass work of Roger Harris and drumming by Morris Jennings. Yeah, a lot of people credit on this, and thanks to eBay, we got a big scan of the back cover. Um, I, I was a little bit distracted for a moment there because um, I uh, pulled this up on uh, Discogs, and it lists all three entry issues of this album as 1980. So it's unclear to me whether this was just recorded in 1975 and released five years later, or because uh, it, it's rare for uh, Discogs to be wrong um, on dates. Um, but um, RYM has this um, entered as a 1975 album, and it says recorded 75, but um, released on 20th Century T60. I'd have to check the uh, yeah, um, how that how that calendar number aligns. But anyway, uh, um, Ahmad Jamal, um, a veteran of the industry at this point, um, 20 years into his career, having put his first album out in 1955 and moving with the times and embracing the mid-70s uh, with style. And let's see, let's go to the next track. Uh, Bobby Humphrey, The Trip. <laughs> Thank you. 
The Trip by flutist Bobby Humphrey from her 1975 album Fancy Dancer. Yeah, very hypnotic, flowing, kind of spacey, misty track. Um, I, interesting how uh, the drumming was very much in like a 4-4 a four -four disco beat throughout much of it with a sliding hi-hat and all, but the bass line was syncopated, like accenting the, the weak beats, like dun 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 like, and, uh, and, and toward the end, it, it, as, as the track developed, it got more layered, and um, a lot of people credited on this album, but on this track we heard, um, let's see, Harvey Mason on drums, Chuck Rainey on bass, uh, and, um, also credited on the album, not necessarily on this track though, Dorothy Ashby harp. Oh, and uh, electric piano Fender Rhodes and Arp Synthesizer by Jerry Peters. And uh, Larry Mizell is credited with a Selena and Arp, as well as Fender. Yeah, three people credited with Fender, so I'm not quite sure which. Um, on this track necessarily, oh, piano Chuck Davis. Yeah. And yeah, a whole bunch of credits. The list is endless. Um, and uh, elsewhere, Roger Glenn on this album plays marimba, vibraphone, and Julian Priester on trombone. Yeah, all-star cast. Uh, let's go to the, and the final track of this uh, trio, Cedar Walton, The Maestro. <laughs>
rather summery bossa nova type vibe to that track, yeah, and uh, precision and all. That was The Maestro by keyboardist Cedar Walton from his 1975 album Mobius. And um, what really got me was in the final third when we had that like marimba-like sound come in. Um, at first I thought it was like a marimba-like setting on the Fender. And then I actually detected some actual marimba, although the, the instrument is not listed. Um, Percussion is played by Omar Clay and Ray Mantilla, and that being one of them. Yeah, kind of mixing in with, with a very similar kind of like-minded tone on the Fender. Yeah, the, the two meshing, creating an almost kind of zolo effect in, in, in that section. And then uh, otherwise, we also had like, like the Fender notes mixing with some spacier um, sounds on the keyboard. Yeah, multi-keyboard sounds coming in. Had some light guitar work. They're um, just kind of accenting the rhythm by Japanese jazz rock guitarist Ryo Kawasaki. Um, vocals provided by Adrian Albert and Lanny Groves, the latter having worked with uh, Stevie Wonder. And drums by the ubiquitous Steve Gadd and bass by Gordon Edwards. Yeah, um, I, I love this cover. It's one of those very creative um, mid-70s jazz funk covers where they uh, turn uh, Walton's face into, well, an unraveling coil, yeah. And it ravels back uh, differently on the flip side, where he's in shades. Anyway, yeah, that was, uh, let's see, in the set, to recap the set, um, Cedar Walton, the maestro, before that, Bobby Humphrey, the trip, and at the top of the set, Ahmad Jamal with Genetic Walk, uh, three jazz funk goodies from 1975, one of the peak years of jazz funk. For more rubies and sapphires from American jazz funk artists, see the directory of albums by American jazz funk artists linked in the description below for red hot tracks and purples from these albums and many more, um, over 600 albums um, from the 70s and 80s, yeah, when jazz funk was everywhere. Like and subscribe, follow me on social media, share the video, and leave a comment if there are any observations you have about the uh, three tracks we just heard, the layers, the instrumentation, the arrangements, the nuances, the rhythmic precision, and the overall feel of it all. Yes, and I hope to do um, one of these videos about every other day, um, like, like these three sets on a certain theme, alternated, of course, with the regular, like, um, prog and metal spotlights yeah anyway and for and <clears throat> until next time this is aragon the world's most ear traveled tramaximalist signing off